fuel in the country, there has been an ongoing conversation about alternate sources of energy, with the use of gas being touted as a key resource because of Nigeria's vast reserves. With gas very much on the front burner, President Bola Tinubu met on Wednesday with investors who have concluded plans to set up the first floating liquefied natural gas facility in Nigeria. The aim is to boost production and crash the cost of gas for domestic, auto and industrial use in the country. Kane Diamodu reports. President Tinubu is acutely aware of the need to provide an alternative to petroleum and believes there is an urgent need to develop the country's gas resources. He therefore would naturally welcome the development of a facility that could leapfrog the national economy by producing an annual 1.5 million tons of liquefied natural gas for export, as well as 300,000 liquefied petroleum gas metric tons for domestic market. This will result in lowering and stabilizing the prices of gas while creating thousands of jobs and investment opportunities in Nigeria. These foreign investors are prepared to do this. Once we come on stream by 2026 fourth quarter, the, this project alone will deliver 25% of the requirement of LPG in country Nigeria. That also we also save the environment for deforestation, whereby the women folks who are dying from using firewood we stop using firewood and start using LPG as their source of energy. We are committed to, to deliver this project. We are currently executing the feed, defining the project, and uh, and you know this uh, JV is very strong. We have been working on the half of the capacity of LNG in the world, which is being built or under construction, is being built by either Technip Energies or JGC, and all floating energy uh, uh, in open seas have been built also by, uh, by either Technip Energies or uh, JGC. So we are here really to bring all the resources and the competencies to put this project forward. Uh, floating energy is not easy one. Uh, that's why only Technip and JGC has completed four floaters, but no others completed yet. Then we are very much proud of be, to be selected and uh, we are ready to work together with UTM. The plant will be anchored offshore in Aquaibom State in about 60 meters water's depth and will produce, when completed in 2026, 1.5 tons of liquefied natural gas for export on annual basis. It is not surprising that President Tinumbu is committed to this project that will provide access to clean, accessible, affordable, available and abundant energy for all Nigerians. As we speak, various Nigerians are already working in various parts of the world in terms of the engineering part of it. On the local content part, we are working with Nigerian content board to ensure that Nigerians are trained on how to manage and operate the plant when it becomes operational. The first floating liquefied natural gas facility targets the generation of 3,000 direct jobs and 4,000 indirect jobs in addition to value creation along the LPG supply chain. From State House Abuja, Kendi Amudu, Trust TV News.